Okay, so we're out at the zoo today. So I just realized that Kendra and I are sitting here together watching, and I don't know where our kids are. We are big nerds. They're right there. I want to. There's the boys. There's the girls. Oh, good. Good. That's why we have moms to keep track. I have eyes in the back of my head. I'm just like mesmerized. My favorite part is when they swim and jump out of the water. Oh Did you make a friend? It likes to you. So I took off the morning of work so I could be here. And Kendra's talking about how different it is when she's here all by herself with I'm all four so kids. Grateful he's here. Like just going to the bathroom with all four kids is really Instead of he minute. just like ran Isaac and Caleb to the bathroom. Yeah. Anyway, every little thing is so much easier. Yeah. I'm gonna get pooped on. Sure. We tried to feed the lorikeets and one landed on Laura and one landed on Caleb and they were not happy about it. So our kids are obsessed with Max. They're all like checking which way we're going. Good job, big girl. Yeah? I had her in the backpack and I let the other kids out of the stroller to go to the slide. And she's like, me out, me too. <laughs> Laura, it's pretend it's not real. Watch, watch. It's okay. She's all scared of this statue. Say monkey. Monkey, say bye. Look, it's a tiger because you say roar, 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 roar. So we just stopped to eat lunch and it was kind of neat. There was a class all about the, wait, which animal was it? Kangaroos the and kangaroos. marsupials. We got to see like a replica of what the kangaroo looks like when it's born as it's like climbing into the pouch. It was amazing. It's about the size of my lid uh, on my water, so like small. really small. Yeah. The other neat thing about this zoo is that in the Australia area, the kangaroos just roam free. So we're actually inside the exhibit right here and there's some kangaroos over there. Hopefully we can get a little closer and, and go, go hang out by them. You pushed him away! <laughs> Alright, well that's another day at the zoo for ya. So I've been trying being a little bit more creative in what chores I'm giving the kids and I'm getting a really positive feedback from that. The kids enjoy it. I'm trying to think of things that they can do that make them kind of like really work hard and instead of just getting into like the same daily routine of the same chores over and over again. So today we're cleaning the cupboards, we're wiping down all the fronts. I noticed quite a build up of dust recently and just like little spots of things, but they're all working really hard, I'm proud of them. And Isaac discovered that the top of the microwave was very dirty, which I'm sure is very true, so. Really true. If you, if you give the vlogger to me, I can show them how dirty it is. Well, I think I can show it to them. Can you see it? Hey Caleb, what did you do? Uh, I, I did the clock. You did the clock. And what did you write over here? Uh, daddy, D-A, 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 and mommy, M-O-M-O-M-O. -M -O -M -O. Laura fell asleep on the way home from the zoo and then she had a hard time transferring to her real nap in her crib. And then we have to wake her up to go to an activity at the library. She's not super happy about it. Oh, 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 she's stuck. She's stuck, Cubby. You got her foot. You got her foot. There we go. Are you guys all done? What is it? It's a dinosaur. What do dinosaurs say? Okay. <laughs> 
Do you want to hold it? So the kids and I are at a library activity this afternoon. It's a robotics program, and so it's like a presentation. The older kids are learning about robotics and all sorts of different things, and Laura and Caleb were way too loud and wiggly to participate in that, so we're hanging out in the kid zone while the kids are nearby watching their presentation. Oh, and I'm resisting the urge to check out more books. I currently have like 96 books at home, and I think we have like 107 books on hold, and so I'm telling myself I don't need any more books, but I'm just like stuck here for an hour. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Nope, that one doesn't work. Okay, try one that does work. Yeah. Ooh. Kayla, what are they doing? So now that we've been vlogging for over a year, it's crazy to go back and look and see what it was we posted a year ago today. And I was looking at this video from a year ago today, and it's the first time Caleb ever talks to the audience. And it's the funniest conversation. He talks about how he can't see you guys inside the camera, and we have a little chat about it. And then Elise gets to go to ballet day for Kansas City, and she loved that. And little Laura is just, you know, she's a little six month old or seven month old then, and so she's just a cute little peanut. It's incredible when we've been vlogging for this long, you can go back and find other videos that are similar. And we went to the zoo about six months ago, and it's so fun to see the kids' reactions to stuff and their interactions and, and how much they've grown. That's the thing I love about vlogging is being able to go back and to see those moments and see the kids' faces. But um, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful Monday and an exciting week ahead of you. And thanks for making our vlog a part of your week. Jay House out. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing that video game. Yeah. What's the, the claw arcade game? Yeah, the arcade game. <sighs> if you can get the prize, you get to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> So close. There we go. Hey, it's even like a little toy. You win, you get to keep it.